Good morning everyone. I wanted to welcome you to my channel. My name is Abby Bliss White and I'm so excited because I finally get to do one of the Sephora VIB recommendations. I have been watching these for years because you know of course it feeds my um, beauty junkie soul <laughs> and now I'm actually getting to do one. Um, so this morning what I thought I would do is I would put on some of my favorite products that I recommend to you um, as well as I was going to combine a little bit of a foundation Friday which I will do check-ins. I'll split this up between the two uh, but I just thought that would be fun. So uh, thank you for being here and let's go ahead and dive in. Um, okay. First thing I'm going to do and recommend is the La Neige Lip Sleeping Mask. You guys, I really do love this guy. Um, I, it's not very expensive and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on my lips. Now I do use this at night, but I like to put this on in the morning before I um, go ahead and do anything else. Now, my skin, obviously, you can see I don't have anything on my face yet. No, no eyeballs or anything because I was going to go ahead and share some of my favorites with you. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and jump in and show you one of the things that's on my list or possibly is the La Mer um, Eye Concentrate. Um, so during the VIB, the way that I like to think about um, spending at these sales is either buying um, skincare, which is my favorite, and Sephora actually has a lot of good brands to buy from, or luxury. So these are things that I'm not gonna buy all the time. I usually wait and save and buy those products when I, um, you know, when there's a sale. So 20% off is for VIB Rouge, which of course I am because I'm the junkie, but even 15% off is amazing. So um, I'm gonna link down all the information. The sale starts this Friday for um, the True Junkies, the VIB Rouge. <laughs> and they have two weekends now, which I laugh because I always am like, okay, I'm gonna make a small order, don't need anything else. Then I watch these videos and then of course, you know, I have to get a few more things the second weekend. But anyways, I have a little sample of this eye concentrate. You guys, this is a baby one that I got with an order. Um, and it, but this is, I have bought this eye cream probably four times. Um, it comes with this really cool little metal wand and you just take a little, I've already actually put some on, but I'm gonna just show you. It's just so moisturizing and so, I mean, I seriously love it. So then you take this little metal and then you, the wand, it's super cooling and I just like to run it under my eyes and kind of lift the eye, okay? Um, La Mer has a bunch of eye products, like a lifting serum. Um, if you ever go to the counter, they're like, here is like four things you can use for your eye. <laughs> that is like, oh, $600 or something later. But oh, this is one. Um, I prefer the concentrate over the balm. I just find it to be super moisturizing and I love, love, love that little stick. Um, can you guys see it? It's actually de-puffed a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna run this, whoops, the flat side. It's just a really nice way to do your eyes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sink in. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk to you about one of my favorite foundations. So this is the La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. This is definitely a splurge, but it really is. You guys, this is such a great foundation. I go back to this time and time again. Um, one thing I would say is the matching of this foundation. I had a little bit, of, I was originally put in neutral, but it was pulling a little gray on me. So then I went back and then I'm in sand and I'm gonna see if this is too dark right now. You see my junky mind is already thinking I need to buy another color. Okay, 
So this is sand, and as you can see on my hand, it kind of looks, this, you know, originally I bought this during the summer. Um, okay, classic beauty blender. This is another thing that I always feel like you should um, purchase during the sale. Why not? Because you're gonna use one. Um, but this one everybody needs is the It Cosmetic Heavenly, um, Heavenly Complexion Perfection Brush. You guys, as you can see, if you've been watching any of my videos, um, this I have been using for, I, I just, I love, love, love this brush. I'm actually gonna dot this on. Okay, I'm gonna get in a little bit closer and then you guys can help decide if I need to buy a different color. Um, I think that they tried to put me in linen originally, but it was a little bit too light. Um, and so you guys, one thing about this foundation is that it has a kind of funky smell. Um, it's almost sweet it, or it, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Um, but there is definitely some sort of fragrance. It is a little bit, it's an odd, odd, um, smell. I am going to take one more little pump here. And I'm gonna dab this on. So you guys, this one is just a super beautiful foundation. No, I probably put a little too much on, we'll see. Um, and I just like to pounce this into my skin. It goes on like a dream. Um, it covers and perfects. And I think the thing what I would say is with the wear test, it literally stays uh, exactly like you, uh, you know, when you put it on, it's going to last all day. And uh, I'm putting over here. Um, does not look cakey. It is just honestly an amazing foundation. Now, I am enjoying that radiant um, lum or that luminous lifting cushion foundation. I don't know if that is on the website. I, I mean, on Sephora yet. I think I checked. Um, I'm going to check the mirror here, guys. Okay, just seeing how it looks here. I'm going to just bring it all the way down um, and let you guys see. Okay, it is just covering my imperfections here. I just think it is such a pretty, pretty foundation. Now, yes, this is, um, you guys, it has lots of silicones in it. Uh, you know, I don't know how actually good this is for your skin. It does have the infamous Miracle Bra um, that all La Mer products have in it. And I do have to say, um, my skin really does like um, the Miracle Broth. I'm gonna share one of my favorites that I think is worth it in the line. Um, but I don't know about the makeup, like how much can really be in that bottle. I think this is more about the finish. I just think it's a super pretty um, foundation. And this is one that I go back to all the time. Okay, so this is in the color sand and I'm trying to determine if it is still a good shade for me. Um, I ended up using the Beauty Blender to put it on. I think I, I, I do love this guy, um, but I think for this foundation, I really like to pounce it into the skin and just kind of go over with the brush here. Um, okay, so I thought we will do that and then I will bring you in a little bit closer so we can see what we think. Okay, can you see how it just evened out the skin? Um, okay, let's take a peek. So I'm gonna go to the side um, and show you that. So it gives a nice coverage, but it's not flat. So I wouldn't say this is a super dewy, radiant one, I, but I do think it's just a really pretty foundation. I still think the shade matches um, pretty well. I think that's it, is the one that I would probably go for would be uh, neutral, which was not my favorite. Um, it just had a gray cast. Okay, that is one of my favorite foundations. And if you can get this off 20% or 15%, um, definitely worth it. Again, this is kind of one of those splurge items. 
I do have the La Mer concealer that I'm going to use today. Look, I'm actually using. Um, would I say this is my absolute favorite? Probably not, but this is a very nice concealer. I'm just taking a little bit and warming it on my ring finger, and I'm just gonna place it down in that dark spot here. This is a very nice, I wouldn't say favorite, but again, you guys, I haven't found any favorite um, <laughs> concealers. Again, this is just one of those, uh, as you are aging, um, I think you need concealer, but I just haven't found one that doesn't seem to accentuate all this wrinkles. Now, this is in the shade Light, so uh, I kind of wish I'd gotten it in medium. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit around my nose up here. Um, okay, just a tad, and then I'm gonna pounce that into my skin. And I am, there we go. Okay, here we go. And again, I just really like to push that into the skin right around here. Okay, next up. I just wanted to talk about this for a minute. So again, for the VIB sale, you guys, this La Mer treatment lotion is basically an essence. I swear by this, my skin loves it, and this is one of the products in the line that has the highest concentration of the Miracle Broth. So it just sinks right into your skin. It's a little bit thicker than other essences. Can you see that? So if you can, and it just has this very lovely, thick, um, kind of, it's not low, it just has a really lovely texture to it. My skin drinks this up, absolutely loves it, and I do feel that anything I put on after this um, is more effective. So I swear by this, and the eye concentrate would be two that I, totally would splurge on in the line as well as the foundation. Um, a couple of outliers, a lot of people have asked me, do you think the La Mer creams are worth it? Now, I personally, my son has eczema and we started buying La Mer for him and this is one of the things that actually really helped and I know that's crazy, but we have been to countless dermatologists have spent thousands on creams, and this actually was one of these products that actually helped him. Um, so I do use the Creme de la Mer. I think it is amazing, not all the time. Um, one thing I will tell you is that I believe this is the one ounce, is this 150? It might be more than that. I think it's more than that. You guys, they keep jacking the price up. Um, and this guy lasts forever. You do not this jar you guys look at this this has been used this is probably for months maybe even longer let me see if i can show you it is barely made a dent okay you use such a small amount but i would say i would get the smaller size if you're not sure or go ask for a sample um that is something i would always recommend with this cream then the other one that I'm on the fence of buying is the soft cream. This is just a little different kind of texture, a little bit lighter, maybe cream, the cream light. This one you really have to rub, 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 rub between your hands and then push on your face. This one you still do that, but it's a quicker um, vehicle to do it, the soft cream is. So I'm intrigued by this guy for day. So at nighttime, I would use the creme de la mer, but for day, I'm contemplating. But as you know, I'm kind of on my um, biologic recherche um, <laughs> skincare goodies. Okay, let's continue to get ready. Um, so those are like my La Mer recommendations, but now I wanna go ahead and put on my eyes. And you guys, this is something that I totally am in love with and I've talked about it several times. I don't think I've ever put it on camera, so I thought we would do that. Tom Ford, this is another brand that I think is a great opportunity to try on during the sale. I have been using this quad 
so much. This is like, I literally love it. So I have, to, you guys, I don't do really well with a lot of those palettes because I tend to just, or you know, the palettes with a bunch of colors. Um, Cause then I tend to just find like one color that I use all the time. <laughs> um, and so I do these like four pan quads work perfect for my kind of brain. Um, so anyways, that is something I would say I would totally, I cannot get enough of this. I have worn this every day since I've gotten it almost. Um, I just, I think it looks really pretty with hazel eyes. Um, another recommendation from them is the Coco Mirage, which is just a classic all matte. Um, um, quad that I think that everybody, you know, you would be really happy with. I'm sort of intrigued about getting Orchid Haze for myself because I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to go ahead and get one more, but I haven't decided yet. So if you guys have that one, um, let me know. I'm just going to kind of start putting this on. So I took that basic, um, this kind of sandy beige color right here. This is like my favorite color. I love it. If they had just a pan of that, like a single, I would totally buy it. Um, Cause that is my go-to. I'm using a Wayne Goss number 16. This is one of my favorite brushes. You cannot get that at the Sephora sale, but I totally, um, that is a beautylish um, thing and I love it. So anyways, here is that base color. And what I'm doing is I've just started in the crease my um, older eyeball here just in that crease and then I just kind of fan it out all over the lid uh, and again you guys I am not a makeup artist so uh, not sure if I'm doing any of this correctly but this is like my favorite color right here my day to day so with this I could also just slick on um, just this with a little bit of this darker color uh, as eyeliner and run out the door. Totally fine with that. Or one of my other favorite eyeliners, which is the Hourglass. Um, the I have an ocean color one that I love from them. That combination is beautiful as well. Um, okay, then we are gonna go into the rose gold or cranberry color. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a different brush as I drop it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this guy. I'm realizing when I come up close, it's not as zoomed in. Okay, and from here, then I'm gonna go into that outer V. And this is just like this. It has, this one has a little bit of, um, maybe I'm not gonna call it shimmer, but it's got a little, a little bit of opulence to that color. And I just take that in that outer V, just like that. This, I love this brush, by the way. This one is just, it gets really, can really help define the eyes. This, this helps me put this on. So this is Wayne Goss number 19. And I'm just going right here. There's the V up into that crease, just like that. And then I'm gonna go back to that fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend both of those together. Just kind of back and forth. Blend, blend, blend. Um, okay, this is basically my eye look. Um, I don't tend to use this lovely, um, you know what, we'll put it on today. I don't tend to use this pop color that much during the day, but for fun we will. Um, okay, I'm using just an angled brush here to do the eyeliner. So I like to use this beautiful brown purpley color on the bottom. Um, so again, if you guys have any of your favorite quads from there, let me know if there's one. I, I, there's the other one I'm intrigued by is Honeymoon, but I just feel like that's going to be a little strong for my eyes. So from here, you guys, I'm just taking that eyeshadow and I'm trying to get as close as possible to the lash line. Did a little thicker than I wanted, but that'll work. Um, and again, not perfect on eyes. <laughs> okay, 
And then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm just gonna line as close as I possibly can to that bottom lash line. And at the end, I try to bring it up. Um, just a little wing at the end because um, anytime if I'm bringing my eye down, I'm, like, I'm trying to lift everything up. Everything's starting to sag just a little. So, okay. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, perfect. Um, not perfect, but you know, you get the idea. Um, let's go ahead and put a little bit of the sparkle on for fun. I'm wearing a gray sweater, so we might as well, <laughs> we might as well match, shouldn't we? Okay, I'm gonna take a flat shader brush number 18 from Wayne Goss here. And I'm just putting a little, you guys, this is probably best put on with my finger, but I'm just gonna do a tap just a little right in that bottom part of the lid. Actually, that's really pretty. Um, okay, maybe I do like that. It just seems like that would be something more to wear in the evenings, um, you know, because I go to so many fancy events. <laughs> Joke. Um, <laughs> every week go to a couple. Um, a couple things a year. Okay, I'm gonna just put that right in this bottom part here. That is actually really pretty. Um, okay, can you see that? Just a little. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, I had, going to take one second. I'm going to go put on my eyelashes. Oh, one other thing I'm going to talk about is another one that I would recommend during the VIB sale is Charlotte Tilbury's um, eyelash curler. Hers has some over the top name. I will list it down there, but like best eye opening, um, <laughs> best eye opening. It's so, you know how she's doing, she likes to do everything. Um, her the way you know everything's magical wonderful so i'm just going to but i do have to say this is a fabulous um eyelash curler it is a really good one so i'm just going to take that and i'm going to curl my lashes okay there we go okay a couple uh mascaras that i will talk about i have a sample of the hourglass um oh gosh hourglass Oh, I'm forgetting the name. The new uh, mascara that I actually have to say is amazing. It has like fibers in it and it totally makes you look like you have lash extensions. And I can't believe I'm forgetting the name. But the one that I actually love, love, love that I have used again for years is the Hourglass Film Noir. This is a really nice mascara. Um, I think that it gives you some oomph to your eyes. It's not gonna be the same as um, the other one. Can you even believe that I'm not knowing the name? I will write that down in the description. But this one is... Okay, you guys. Here is the eyes with my favorite Tom Ford Disco Dust. I'm going to see if you can see. I'm going to close my eyes real quick. Um, and oh, I this is my favorite. So I highly, highly recommend, especially when you can get this on sale. Um, okay, next thing I want to, I'm gonna jump around just a little bit, you guys. Um, I will list it per brand below, um, but I wanted to go ahead and finish my face. So one of the other things that I love and is very <laughs> real love is this Hourglass Trio. And um, this is called the Illume Sheer Color Trio. Um, you guys, I love this and I have been using my Westman Atelier Biscuit Contour, um, but before I had that, I am a fan of cream products actually, and I had wished that they just sold this little guy here, this kind of bronzer slash contour. Um, the blush color here is just okay, it kind of wears off really quickly. This highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm also a fan of Hourglass. 
and have tons of their products could do a whole face just on that um, but I love to take that little bronzer and I am just going to use my favorite brush that I use for everything and I am just going to put on a little bit of that bronzer so this is just it is such a pretty product and it just melts into your skin so this one I highly highly recommend I'm going to use a different blush that's one of my favorites that you can buy at the sale but um this trio uh, this alone this and the um contour i'm sorry it looks so <laughs> it looks very well loved um i just absolutely love it so this guy that bronzer i seriously was writing them because when they came out with all their foundation sticks i thought oh i can just um use that uh you buy one of those darker ones to use as a um as that color but there's no perfect match so um i probably will purchase this again once i completely run through this but i have used this and loved it so i am just putting it on my cheeks a little bit up through the forehead maybe i'll do a little down the sides of the honker um and then underneath trying to get rid of any telltale um double chin <laughs> okay you guys so that is a little bit of bronze getting a little bit of warmth through the um skin and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put on this little highlighter i just like to use my finger here and i'm just gonna put this up on the cheekbones um, this looks really pretty just also a dot right in the middle of your eye um, just to bring a little lightness there and with that let me see if you can see it's just really natural looking um, it all of these this just melts into your skin it is a really good trio um, and again the blush color is super pretty it just doesn't seem to last much um but i would i have used it so i'm just kind of putting it right above let's blend that in okay um okay so this guy from hourglass you can purchase that at the sale and that again is this is a good time because that's not exactly cheap either um okay the next thing i wanted to do was tom ford blushes you guys this is a splurge worthy item um you get a huge amount of product i don't have a whole lot of these but i do have one that is my favorite and it's inhibition um it's kind of ridiculous to spend 60 dollars on a blush and um i realize that but this is what i'm saying is once you have the sale it does make um this not so bad and if you're wanting to splurge on yourself this is a, such a beautiful color. So you guys, this inhibition, oh, I, I love this color so much. Um, so I am using one of my other favorite brushes is from Charlotte Tilbury that I like to use. This is her Sculpt and Glow brush that she uses for her um, bronzer. Um, her, you probably know what I'm talking about, but this is just one of my favorites that I use for blush and I'm just going to Put this on it is just a super pretty color and i will go ahead and swatch this as well um so this again is what i would say if you are going to be splurging on items during the sale this is would be one that i would say yes um i just love inhibition and there was one other one that i had had uh, it kind of was like orgasm it kind of just reminded me exactly of orgasm so i'm not sure i thought it was worth it i'm thinking love lust maybe something like that um and blush isn't like i like blush but it's not my favorite um thing to buy <laughs> um okay you guys this one though an inhibition out of all of the tom ford blushes if you're looking to invest i would say inhibition um let me see if you can see it just it has color you're gonna get payoff but it is going to um you know it look it's more of kind of a nice earthy let me give you this swatch okay let me just go it's super buttery you guys this is just such a pretty color so you're gonna laugh because it kind of looks like the color that is in the hourglass let's take a look at any sorry guys yep the dogs are at it okay let's go ahead and swatch the cream 
And again, you guys, I really do like the color in here. Um, it's a little brighter. Okay, good. I was gonna say, oops, <laughs> kind of similar. I just found that it didn't last throughout the day. So that would be my only, you know, it wasn't giving me a whole bunch. Okay, so moving on. We're gonna get through that and then I'm gonna run through just like my recommendations. Let's go ahead and finish off. I have the La Mer powder. Um, and this one is a, again, you guys, I'm not a huge powder girl, but of course, when this came out, I basically wanted it because I wanted this big fluffy brush. <laughs> um, I know I'm a sicko. You guys, this one is such a great brush. I love this. Um, it is really a fun brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of powder and tap it into the front of this. And I just am going to go down the T-zone. So what this does is going to mattify just a little bit, um, but it also, um, it gives you, it has a little bit of some sort of glow to that powder. So even though it's going to bring down um, the, you know, the natural kind of satin finish of the foundation, this will mattify it a little bit, but this has been, if I'm going to use powder, I really like this and the Hourglass um, Veil Powder. I really love that one too, and I love the brush that goes with it. But again, if we're talking luxury and you're wanting to splurge, I actually think that's a great powder, and I haven't tried the Sheer Pressed one. Um, this brush is amazing. It is huge. It is soft. It is, it is everything. <laughs> And I also love this guy here. This one is way old um, and I have loved, love, love. Cause this is the one where you can get in from the top of your ear and come down and kind of sculpt out your cheekbones. I don't necessarily have a lot of cheekbones here, but I love this brush so much. Okay, let's move on you guys. I am going to quickly talk about lipstick. I did a whole recent lip products. Um, um, video so I'm not going to go too much but a few of my favorites my newest favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury um, sexy superstar lips and I'm going to make sure that's on the Sephora site I'm hoping sometimes you guys she just does it on her site and like Nordstrom and those places but a shout out for my absolute favorite neutral Charlotte Tilbury matte revolution in Barry Victoria and I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of this. This would be, this would complement the um, Disco Dust eye look. Um, and again, I just really love this formula and this color. This one is my favorite and I have small lips, guys. I know I should probably line them and such, but this is just me being real. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and top it with my Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Um, this is the Am Enamored Lip Gloss Lipstick, I believe it's called. Uh, I love these. These are so good. So the thing is, this is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury new formulation of her Superstar Lips. So, but I don't believe she has anything in this shade. So Sugar Sugar topped with... Um, you know, uh, very Victoria topped with sugar, sugar. I just think it's a really nice color. And then we're just going to get into, um, we'll, we'll get into our, um, all my other goodies for VIB. So you guys, here's the colors that I have so far are sugar, sugar, and, um, one mauve time. And then I think the other thing is there's one called mocha, something or other that one's been intriguing to me that I think it's been sold out but that would have been a um that would have been a good recommendation okay now that we have my face on I just want to go through some of my recommendations um overall that you know is worth getting at the sale Tom Ford for a minute okay so Tom Ford definitely this is a must. Disco Dust Quad or any of the quads are super high quality. Inhibition Blush is a yes. My favorite Holy Grail, a favorite, favorite, favorite stick foundation is the Tom Ford. I, I seriously love this. I've done a video on, 
on my favorite stick foundations, but you guys, this these I love and will not be without. And I have it in 6.5 Sable for the summer and 5.5 Bisque as we are moving into the winter. Uh, I just literally, this makes your skin look so good. Um, super, uh, I think it feels like it makes it like a second skin, but it really perfects it. So I love that. If you are looking for a really nice uh, illuminating primer, this is one of the best ones. Tom Ford, again, a makeup artist who had done, head. she swears by this, this is a must. I recently did a foundation Friday on the Traceless Perfecting Foundation, Broad Spectrum SPF 15. I really do. This was a really lovely liquid foundation. Between the two of these, I would still go with my stick. This is like my holy grail. Uh, can't say enough about it. <clears throat> the other thing here is Tom Ford, one of these little lovely eyes. This is in ooh, Golden Peach. And as you can see, this is very well loved. You guys, this has been on my radar. I, I've had this. <laughs> this was kind of my go-to eye before the Disco Dust. And as you can see, actually, if you look at it, the color Golden Peach is kind of similar to this powder. So if you are someone who's only gonna wear one similar shade, then I would say go ahead and just buy this guy and this is a perfect time to invest in Tom Ford. Okay, need your help as to what lipstick. Uh, I recently tried the Tom Ford lipsticks. Um, again, because I'm not a big lip girl, meaning that's not something I'm gonna highlight. I haven't splashed out on them, but they have the formula that I got from my little sample size from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. The formula was amazing, so it's made me want to get one. Um, so please share your recommendations of those, but that's something I would go ahead and recommend to you. I just don't have a specific color. Um, I did try Casablanca, and I do love that. Oh, sorry for the little squeaky noise here. Okay, next up. So those are my Tom Ford recommendations, and then we're gonna move over to Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you guys, I'm actually a huge fan of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I think it is a very good moisturizing morning. Um, I, I would never wear this at night, but I actually do like it. Do I think it's worth $100? Probably not. But I would say if you are looking, if you've been wanting to try this, great time to try it in the sale. Love it. Um, next up. I swear by this combo for mature skin. This is Light Wonder Foundation, and this is the Wonder Glow um, Primer. This is a beautiful combination, and again, if you are looking for, um, you know, a new, if you're a Charlotte Tilbury fan and you haven't tried this, I would say this is gonna be very light to medium coverage and just give you a nice canvas which to work with. The Flawless Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is beautiful. I've even hit pan on this. Um, that is a definite yes. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Products. Yes, I think they're fantastic. Um, so that is gonna be that for Charlotte Tilbury. Let's hop over to a few skincare items. You guys, I could be here all day. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna be concluding with a few different major brands and tell you about that. Um, Drunk Elephant, eh, you guys, I have used pretty much everything in her line. I'm a big fan. Um, the I have actually bought everything in that Drunk Elephant line. Love the Virgin Marula Oil, perfect time to purchase this. The La La Retro Whipped Cream. I just finished the um, Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I, I finished the whole jar and actually that has been, um, I bought that twice before. Um, I bought countless bottles of the C Firma Day Serum. Um, um, the Framboose, there's a glycolic one, um, the Framboose one. 
that uh, you can use at night. I don't use that as much, but that is a great product. So definitely the whole line, it's just a clean line. Um, I just think I stand by all their products. I think that they are effective. Um, I love the TLC Sakari Baby Facial. This is a beautiful product. Again, my skin, it gets a little funky with glycolic. So, but this resurfacing every once in a blue moon is a yes. Um, so that, and then you guys, I cannot give you enough um, kudos for this Moon Juice Beauty Shroom Serum. This is the Plumping Jelly Serum. I love this and I'm actually out, so I will be repurchasing. Ah, yeah, I'm to the very itty bitty end. Um, I will be repurchasing that. It is gorgeous, it's hydrating. It is absolutely plumping and just amazing. Um, another product that I absolutely love is I'm a fan of Tatcha. And Tatcha, their Polish Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. Um, this stuff, this is a, one of the sample sizes. Um, you guys, this stuff is amazing. So the key though is I cannot use anything abrasive on my face. So the first time I used this, I wasn't using it properly. You really need to put this in your palm, add water, and then get it to, to so it's slightly foaming, and then put it in. So the granules need to be used up already and then put it in. Your skin will be so soft and beautiful. It is just a gorgeous product. I've also liked the Camellia um, Cleansing Oil. That is a fantastic product, um, but that whole line too. Those are just kind of clean lines that I think I've just, I've kind of gone in and out with that I've really enjoyed. Okay, that is going to be 